In this video, we're going to talk about creating a wide menu, also known as a mega menu. So here I am at one of our demo sites, and when I hover over a menu item, we see this wide drop down menu. So Bridge supports creating a wide menu with up to four columns. And when you're creating this type of drop down, you should just keep in mind that there are three different levels. So here we have our first level menu item, then we have our second level menu items, and finally our third level menu items. So let's go ahead and create this type of menu. This is my local site, the site that I will be working on, and currently I do not have a drop down in my menu. I'm going to navigate to Appearance Menus, and this here is my menu. So I want to create a drop down here when I hover over the blog menu item. I'm going to expand the blog item. And here there's a field that says type. So I'm going to set wide. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my second level menu items. So now I've added four second level menu items. I previously mentioned that Bridge supports having up to four columns in the wide menu, so that's why I added four second level menu items. So now, in order to add my third level menu items, I will just need to indent them one step further. All right, so now I created my menu. I have my first level menu item my second level menu items, and my third level menu items. Let's save this menu. And let's refresh my page. So now I have a wide dropdown. These second level menu items here, they're currently links that will take me to a page on my site but they also look like headings for the menu items beneath them. And in some cases, you might want to have headings that are not linkable. So let's see how we could do that. I'm going to expand my second level menu item. And over here, we have an option that says don't link. So I'm going to set this option for all of my second level menu items. I'm going to save my menu and refresh my page. And now when I hover over these second level menu items, nothing happens, so they are behaving like headings. All right, let's take a look at some other menu options. I'm going to expand the blog menu item again. And here under type wide, there's also an option called wide with icons. As the name suggests, if you're using this menu type, you can add icons to your drop down menu. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some random icons. Here we can choose an icon pack, and then we can also choose an icon. And now I have some icons next to my menu items. Now let's take a look at some design options for the drop down menu. I'm going to navigate to Code Options header. And down here, I'm going to click on Menus. So in this section, we have some design options for the drop down menu. We've already covered most of these options in a previous video of ours called How to Set Up Your Menu in Bridge. So if you would like to learn more about these options, we suggest watching that previous video. We will leave a link to it under the video description. I'm going to talk about this option here that says enable full width background for wide dropdown type. When you set this option to yes, your wide menu will expand full width across the screen. So let's see what that looks like. My dropdown is now expanding full width across the page. Now, if you would like the text itself to also go full width across the page, then you can set this option here to yes. It's called enable full width menu for wide dropdown type. 
I'm going to navigate to Code Options Fonts. Down here, I'm going to click on Header and Menu. And here we will find typography options for our menu. So we have typography options for our first level menu, second level menu, and also for our third level menu items. Once again, we talked about these options in our previous videos. So if you would like to see examples of how these options work, we recommend checking the video that we will link under the video description. Now, there's more that can be done with the wide menu than just adding menu items. You could add an image to your wide menu, you could add an image gallery or even videos. So let's go ahead and add an image to our menu. In order to do this, first of all, you will need to create a custom widget area. So I'm going to navigate to Appearance Widgets. And down here, I'm going to create a custom widget area. I'm just going to name it Wide Menu Image. So here is my custom widget area. And inside, I'm going to drag an image widget. And let's choose an image. So now I set my image and let's save this widget. Now I'm going to navigate to Appearance Menus. I'm going to add my image here in the last column under the Checkout item. So let's find this menu item. So here it is. I'm going to expand this menu item. And here there's a field called Custom Widget Area. So over here, I'm going to link the custom widget area I just created. It's called Wide Menu Image. And I will not be needing these third level menu items. So I'm going to go ahead and delete them. Let's save the menu. I'm going to refresh my page. And we now have an image in the menu. Now let's say that in this column, I just want to have an image. I don't want to have this title over the image. Let's see how we can fix this. So here is my menu item that contains the image. And here there's a box called Don't Show. If I check this box, then the navigation label will not show, but I'll still have my custom widget area showing. So let's save this menu again. And now I only have my image here. Now let's take a look at another demo site of ours to see another example of a wide menu dropdown. This here is our music magazine demo. And when I hover over the menu items, here we have some latest posts in the menu. And we also have some video posts in the menu. So let's try and create something similar to this, a dropdown menu with our latest posts. Previously, I mentioned that the drop down menu is comprised of columns and that it can have up to four columns. So, what we're going to do, we're going to create four custom widget areas. And in each of our menu columns, we're going to add a single custom widget area. So, I'm going to navigate to widgets again. I'm going to name my first custom widget area Wide Menu 1. My second one will be called Wide Menu 2. My third one will be called Wide Menu 3. And finally, my fourth one will be called Wide Menu 4. So now I have my four custom widget areas and I need to add posts to them so that I can then link them to my menu. In order to use the widgets that are showcased on this particular demo site of ours, you will need to install and activate the Bridge News plugin. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to navigate to Code Import. And here under the demo site, I'm going to set the music magazine demo. So this is the new demo 92 music magazine demo. And now when I set this demo over here, we have a list of plugins that are used in that demo site. So here we have code news. So I'm going to click on install. Let's click on install again. I'm going to click on activate. 
And now let's navigate to widgets again. Now that I've activated the Bridge News plugin, we have some new widgets available. For example, we have Code Layout 1 widget, Code Layout 2, Code Layout 3. All of these widgets are used to display your posts. So here in my custom widget areas, I'm going to add the Code Layout 1 widget. Now this widget has many different options that you can fill out in order to sort and stylize your post. I'm going to keep this simple. So I'm just going to add one post because I only want one post per column. Number of columns, I'm going to set one. I'm going to make sure that my category is displayed and I'm going to save this widget. And similarly, I'm going to add the code layout one widget to all of my remaining custom widget areas. I've now set up my custom widget areas. So each custom widget area has the code layout one widget inside. Now let's go to menus. For this menu type, I will not be needing my third level menu items. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of my third level menu items. And I'm just going to leave my second level menu items here. My menu now is all set up. So I have my first level menu item and my second level menu items. My first level menu item is still set to type wide. So this is important to have in order for the wide drop down to work. For the second level menu items, I'm going to add my custom widget areas. So this one will be utilizing my first custom widget area. This one will be using my second custom widget area. And my last two items are going to be using my third and fourth custom widget areas. Let's save this menu. Let's refresh the page. And my drop down now has my latest posts in it. Now, I don't like these titles here on top, so let's go ahead and remove these. So, once again, I'm going to expand my menu items and I'm going to click on the Don't Show box. So this looks better. Now let's head over to code options to style this menu. I'm going to navigate to code options header. Down here, I'm going to click on menus. So let's set my drop down to have a white or a very light gray color. And I'm going to set this color for the separators as well. Let's save changes. So this looks better. The text is more visible now. All right. So we show you some examples of what can be done with the wide menu. You can add images to it. You can add posts to it. Pretty much any content that you can add to your page, you could also add to your drop down menu. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned something new. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section. And if you would like to be notified about upcoming videos, you can subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.